Hey there, everybody. Jimmy with Two the Top Crane. And this is not a crane video. I was using my die grinder the other day. And I learned I have a water problem on my compressed air system. And also, I've, I've just got a small compressor. Uh, what is it? 26 gallon little cobalt quiet tech. I'll give them a plug. It is a pretty quiet compressor for an oil free. And it, it doesn't do bad. But it's plumbed just straight into my hose reel. And I'm getting water. And all compressed air systems have water to deal with at some point. It, it's from pulling the humidity out of the air, compressing it. It ends up in your tank and then it ends up coming out in your air lines and basically what it is is the air gets hot as it's being compressed and it stays the moisture stays suspended in the hot air it goes into your air lines and that comes out to your tools and it starts condensing in your tools and you end up with water droplets spraying everywhere so here's the goal i am going to pipe the air coming out of my compressor into this t and there's going to be a little valve down here and the air will come up to the top Come back down over here to the bottom. There'll be another valve here. And then the air will have to travel back up. Up over here. Come back down. To yet another valve with a leg on it. And then back up. And it will discharge out there on that top end. So what we're, I mean this really isn't an air dryer that's going to be an air water separator. So the goal is to get the water to condense inside these pipes, inside this copper tubing. That actually, it'll cool off as it's going through this tubing, so the water will condense. It'll, it'll fall out of the airstream and end up down here in the bottom where I can drain it off with the valves. Now, this other T, this is because I made a mistake. So I bought these three quarter to half inch reducers because my ball valves that I'm using, they're half inch ball valves. Well, this reducer is designed to be used with a coupler and I didn't realize that. Well, guess who didn't buy any couplers? But I do have a leftover T. So we're gonna make this a coupler. So anyway, that's the plan. I will set the camera up and uh, we'll start building this thing.
Okay, so we got it up here temporarily with zip ties. And I forgot to get a whip to connect my hose reel to the top of this um, water separator. So I just got one of my air hoses screwed into the top up there. But after I got all hooked up, pressure tested, I had a little leak. And that leak was in the beginning of the, the video when I had one of these one of these pipes a little bit off center I heated up and twisted it around so I had a little leak there so I had to heat it back up and re-solder it but now it is working good so the way this works is you got air coming from the tank or the compressor into this line it comes up well actually as it comes in we've got a leg coming down here to a shutoff valve that we can pop open and that should get rid of some water and then it comes up and has to come over the top and then back down this leg which is in line with another valve and then it has to make a turn come back up over back down this legs also in line with a valve and then it has to come back up and when it gets to the top up here it comes out to our fitting but what I would run into when I ran my die grinder, before the compressor would kick on even, I would have water coming out right here. And that's where it vents as it goes through the rotor and all that good stuff. But even before the compressor would kick on, I would have water there. And that was after draining my tank. So now I'll fire this up and it's going to be loud. We're just going to just let it run. Okay, so you can see we had no moisture come out. I'm gonna see if there's any in any of these legs down here. And there may not be any because it's not real humid in here. But we'll see what we got. Well, it obviously spit something out. There, you can hear it, it's spitting something out. So I would call that a success. The real test will be what's it going to be like this summer when it's really, oh, there goes the poor die grinder. But what's it going to be like this summer when it's uh, hot out, hot and humid? That'll be the test. But so far it's working. <laughs>